lawsuit against the 526 extension project has been put to rest. Melissa Rattermaker joins us now from the final stretch of the highway. And Melissa, this lawsuit had a few components to it that ultimately we now know will not be able to stop this project. Roth, the lawsuit tried to argue that the county should not use penny tax funds to pay for the Mark Clark extension because it wasn't on the original project list for the penny tax funds. But the court ruled when people voted for that, they voted for the money to be used for road projects. And this, at its core, is a road project. The lawsuit also questioned how the county decided to make decisions about the money for funding the highway extension. It says council members went into an executive session one meeting, then came out and made a vote on funding for Mark Clark without properly letting people know they might make a major decision that day. The decision was to take funding from other smaller projects, put those projects on hold, and then pay for the highway. The court said the county did break the law in terms of not giving people notice they were voting on the major project, but ultimately that decision doesn't change anything of what's coming next. And now they're telling us that the extension of 526 is a priority. Notably, it's the only priority that's on the current list. And so they've talked about many other projects, but the only thing we know we're going to get out of this is 526. The challenge is people want traffic solutions, but we all have to understand that interstates don't solve traffic problems. They bring traffic problems. The extension recently secured more money pledged from both the county and the state bank because of rising construction costs. Right now, the project's actual construction is slated to take place sometime around 2025. In Charleston County, Melissa Rademacher, Life 5 News.